Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, July 28th, 2021. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. Today I'm coming to you from a campground picnic table at 9,600 feet to the west of Pikes Peak. Started July 31st, the last day of the month. We have a third quarter moon rising just after midnight and setting in the early afternoon. So you can look for it if you're walking around outside. Uh, take a look at, the, at drought. Drought is getting um, a little less each week. We're getting more precipitation on the western slopes. So if you look from last week to this week, you can see some definite relief down here in the southwest. Definitely where we need it. Fantastic. Nationally, uh, we see an erosion of drought conditions from Colorado down through New Mexico. This is still last week's map. You'll see a worsening of drought across the northern tier of states as we step forward to this week. So we definitely need more precipitation. We will see in the water vapor uh, forecast maps some atmospheric moisture returning to the Pacific Northwest. So hopefully that's some good news. Take a look at the smoke though. With all that, we saw fires in the west. You can see them in the uh, Oregon area here. We have one local one here up in the northwest, uh, north central part of the state. <clears throat> but some big fires up in Canada and in Montana. Yeah, but for now, this is kind of arcing over the top of the state. We have very little uh, smoke in this part of the uh, nation. This is the entire atmospheric depth of smoke. You can see right here in the end it is starting to kind of come down. Um, we will be seeing a big cold front come down in uh, the end of the week. That's going to be a great relief. But that could also bring some of the smoke back with it. Let's take a look at surface smoke. This is the stuff that directly affects us. You can see it in the northern mountains. I see that same little surge southward. But on the eastern plains for now, it's quite minimal. Here's our relief bringing precipitation for Colorado. The front range right down here didn't get much except south of Denver and Colorado Springs. But look at these mountains in the front range itself, central mountains, and then down towards the Four Corners area. Uh, two to three inch uh, rainfalls over large swaths of area. We still need some moisture to make it up in the northwest part of the state, but this is good relief. So the big story here is this gigantic ridge, and we've sort of dealt with this thing for much of the last two years. It has really preferred to anchor itself over the Rockies for quite a while now, and that's based on uh, sea surface temperatures and the global, um, what's called the Rossby wave pattern, but the, the pattern of the jet stream is what it's more colloquially known as. Um, we do have this fetchal moisture being drawn around, and it's, it's definitely bringing monsoonal flow into the west. Arizona has seen some good drought relief as well. So here's this, the water vapor satellite image. You can see that moisture coming up around the high, pretty much centered over our heads right now. That's what's bringing the extreme heat at the beginning of the forecast period. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, really hot, almost certainly record-breaking temperatures for most places in Colorado. But there is moisture, and there is energy, and so that means wherever the atmosphere isn't capped, which means the upper atmosphere is too warm for thunderstorms to get going, we can get thunderstorms, and the mountains can help that. So right along I-25 and the rest of the state can get some storms on Wednesday. It won't be many, but uh, we even saw two pop up on Tuesday down uh, in, in the area of the state that I'm uh, camping in right now. And going to Thursday, we can see a little marginal risk up here as the front begins to approach, and the mountains, I-25 corridor, are all able to get thunderstorms. Not severe, but they're able to get some. And then that area of most capped atmosphere sinks to our southeast, and the rest of the state can get thunderstorms on Friday. So the big weather change comes over the weekend. This is sort of Saturday night Sunday morning look. You can see this gigantic ridge overhead, but there's this weakness in the middle. You have a low pressure circulation in the middle of it. With this trough down here, there goes the wind and some good nature sounds in the, in the 
recording. Hopefully it's not too uh, distracting. And with that low and a surface low down here in the panhandle of Texas and Oklahoma, we have a good draw of moisture coming out of the uh, tropical regions of the Gulf and also this moisture up into the western uh, states somewhat associated with the uh, flow from the Gulf but also from the Pacific. So at the peak here, this is really sunny morning, we see widespread showers and thunderstorms falling over much of the state including up in the northwest so that's good news. So let's put it in motion and watch. So here's our gigantic heat producing record temperature ridge at the beginning of the forecast period. We're into Friday now. You can see the short wave kind of connecting in and as we go into Saturday and Sunday this kind of punches down east of us. There's a little trough in there and then the high gets shoved way down to Southern California the ridge axis to our west and we get either northerly flow or northwesterly flow bringing cooler air so into Thursday and like that and the high comes back overhead being pushed off to the east next weekend so August 7th there it's a big trough coming into the um, west coast and that could mean big changes for the heat out there finally Okay, you look at these temperatures, when you see all those blue blobs pop up, that's the afternoon thunderstorms, there they are. Here's our amazing heat going into the weekend. Here comes the cold front sweeping down on the plains. And then moisture in the west, cool air in the east of the Rockies, giving us cooler temperatures than normal on into Monday. And the heat starts to build again to our west. There's the cool air starting to depart. And going into Wednesday and Thursday, the heat returns. You can see every afternoon, the thunderstorms pop up, drop cool air, and that's seen in the model here. So the moisture source is what we look for for the uh, summer months, and you can see lots of monsoonal moisture. This is abnormal precipitatable water in the atmosphere over the entire western U.S. So this ridge, as it does its thing, really gets filled up with tropical moisture. So anything that allows um, the atmosphere to get cooler aloft and hot below will allow those thunderstorms to dump water on the southwest. And we'll take a look at the future radar and you can see these thunderstorms largely over to Arizona, Utah, western parts of the state through the early part of this week as we go into the weekend. The low forms lee of the mountains and there's storms spreading out on the plains day after day for the weekend into Monday. Then the showers kind of re return to a monsoonal western slopes look. There's mountains again, southeastern plains into Wednesday and Thursday. Still the moisture keeps flowing into Arizona and Utah and some of even making up into Montana by next weekend. So Looking over the next three days before the weekend cold front arrives, the rain is in western uh, Colorado event, which is great. That's where we need it. Add the weekend and significant water is falling over the northern central part of the state, including Longmont and good rains on the western slopes. Some even making it out on the eastern plains. Add the next uh, five days and the mountains really are getting some uh, significant relief. So this is great. This is a, a way to avoid rapid fires in the fall like we had last year. So we start uh, the seven day period really roasting 103 and 100 on Thursday. The cool down begins Friday, cold front arrives, afternoon and evening thunderstorms are possible with that front, and then dramatically cooler. It's, it's going to feel chilly, uh, 70s uh, for the weekend, 50s at night with uh, humid conditions and a pretty good chance of rain and thunderstorms, especially in the afternoon for the thunderstorm activity. And then into next week we start to warm up, we do return to the 90s later in the week, but not as bad as it was uh, this week. For frequent weather updates and local news, check out the Longmont Leader at longmontleader.com. I've been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth from a campground where a uh, chipmunk has been threatening to interrupt the show. Keep looking up.